Hello everybody, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Fierce Deity Double Helix Sword. I couldn't find a tutorial when I was trying to make mine. Um, I found some pictures online of people doing it in the process. Um, a couple different ways, uh, but nothing that was, I guess, the cheapest. Uh, especially, I've never done anything like this before, so I was definitely learning along the way as well. Um, I basically did a couple different techniques. I used insulation foam for the body, and then I covered it with paper mache and paper mache paste. Basically, you just want to run to a hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot and get some pink insulation foam. It's not that expensive. I got a huge sheet. Uh, much more than I needed, but that was as big as, it was either really small or really big. So I got a crap load for 30 bucks, um, and I only used a section of it, and my sword is huge. So you'll be able to make a ton of weapons after you learn how to do this the first time around. Hopefully this video will be helpful to you, and um, you'll be able to take some tips from it and make yours even better because I definitely screwed up some stuff. There were some things I wish I could have done better, but this is my first time working with it and I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so you're going to start out by taking your ruler. And on a flat surface, you want to measure out how tall and wide you want your sword to be. Once you have it all drawn out, um, I just did it by hand, you're going to cut it out. I started by taking a Dremel tool and kind of trace it to help um, when I later I take a knife and I really cut it out, but this really helps so that my lines are straight and not jagged. So you want to cut out the pieces into sections. It's going to make it a lot easier just because there's so many. Um, you got to like cut out from the inside and around and blah 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 blah. It takes a while. You're going to cut out from the inside. Uh, make sure you don't cut through it. It's not necessary. This is a lot easier when you're going to do like the overlapping on each side. Okay, so now once it's all cut out, make sure you mark the lines where it's going to overlap. You need to know which side is going to be going over top of the other one. Um, also, make markings to where the middle is throughout the entire, like, blades. Blade, blades, whatever. So you can see where I marked it. I know how far to go, how far to shave it down on both sides so that neither side is, like, not as level as the other one. And, yeah. Uh, this is going to take a while. Um, I use the Dremel tool to help out for the most part of it. Um, if you have something else that will be easier to use, definitely use that. I just got this, and I use it for most of my entire projects, so it's really nice. Um, yeah, so you want to shade down the sides to the middle, making a slant, and then going back over with it with sandpaper to smooth it out.
Okay, so once you're all done with the blades, um, smoothing those out, making them the size you want, you're going to take your insulation foam. I just aligned mine with the blades, kind of drew how I wanted the base to be. Just free drew it and then cut it out um, and sand it down. Once that's the shape you want and the size you want, um, once again, I just sat my blade on top of the base and I marked where it should be on the base. And I made markings to uh, where I'm going to be sticking the rods in that hold the blades to the base. I just shoved it right in that middle hole. Just shove it in. Sorry. And now with uh, glue, you can use epoxy. Um, I made sure I put the glue in there first, and then I stuck the dowel rods right in there. They're really sturdy, um, and they hold the blade up very well. So. I'm not too worried about it coming apart. And I just put it in as far as I could to the end of the base and as far as I could into the blades on each side. And then glue it. Okay, so for to smooth out all of the holes that I have on my sword, I am going to use paper mache. Where's my kitten? Marco, say hi. Marco. She usually talks. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do paper mache, regular paper mache with flour, water, and a little bit of salt. And it is one part flour, two parts water. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one cup of flour two cups of water and it should be a thin paste um, I will show you what that should look like in a second okay so this is what I came out with it should not have any clumps in it and should be very thin but yet still let's get out of there you little brat Margot that's not milk stop Anyways... Okay, now that it's all dry, we're going to cover it with paper mache clay. I'm going to put it, a uh, link into the information, like the bio part of this video, um, so you can see where I got the recipe. It's going to be much easier than me telling you, because uh, it was my first time ever using this stuff. And let me tell you, it is, it dries really hard. Um, and what I did is I kind of lathered it on, and what I should have done is done thin layers, like drywall because um, it dried so hard it was really tough to stand sand down and then you just take um, some water and just dip your gloves in it like a little bit of put a little bit of water on your fingers and then smooth it out with your hands make sure you do this because you'll regret it later when you're sanding it down and you wish you would have done it more Also remember to glue in your handle at the bottom. Okay, so two things. Now that our paper mache 
uh, clay has dried, it is fully dry, which is awesome. Um, it's really tough, really hard. This is my first time using this, um, so I didn't exactly know what to expect. Um, so that's awesome, except when I lift this up now, it's cracking because it's so much heavier. Um, so we're going to do two things. First, you're going to need a bottle of wine because that sucks. And I'm going to need this to help me get me through tonight in case everything was for nothing. Um, we're going to sand it down. And when we sand it down, it's going to take off some of the weight. Um, so I guess three things. And I'm going to take my, where is it? My glue. And I'm going to try to glue it um, back. I still think that's not going to really help the issue. So, just a heads up and making your sword. Um, you could stop at just the regular paper mache, not the paper mache clay, and it's going to help with weighing it down. Um, you just might not get the exact shape that you want and texture that you want, but it'll be much lighter. Um, so I'm going to do this and see what happens. And I really hope it works out. Or I'm going to be sad. And this will be gone. So let's go. Okay, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but um, there's still a lot of like imperfections on it. Um, I'll show you. It's not as smooth as I want it to be, but I got this stuff called Leak Seal. Got it at Walmart. It's about 10 bucks. Uh, I don't know if it's going to ruin it or make it better. I feel like it's going to help. Um, it seals cracks everything watertight and uh, waterproof so I'm hoping that will smooth everything out. Then I'm going to go back over on the Plasti Dip and do a primer before I actually paint it. So let's do that. All of the sprays that I used, I made sure I did thin even coats. Let it dry and then I would come back and then do another coat. After I did a primer on my sword, I am now able to paint using, I just use acrylic paints for this, which are like super cheap, like 50 cents. Once your sword's all painted and ready to go, go over it with an acrylic finish. I use matte. There you have it, there is my tutorial on the Ferris D80 sword. Like I said, this is my first time doing it, I'm super happy with the results. Um, I wish it was smoother, I wish it did some things differently, um, but I will take that and apply it to my next project. It's really sturdy, uh, it's heavy enough that I don't, that I'm not scared it's going to just break you know, it hit something wrong, um, but still lightweight enough to carry around and hang on a wall. I hope you liked this, and I hope you learned some things from it. And that's it. Uh, if you, if this helped you out, um, please let me know so I will feel okay enough to make more of these videos. I will leave off with some pictures of my cosplay with the sword so you can see everything together. And good luck.